This morning we sold the canopy for $75. I just sold a projector for a hundred. I'm about to sell some scales for $35. That's $200 in a day. And then a couple hours later, we get a message from her and she's calling us scammers. What's up everybody? Thank you for coming to another entrepreneur video. And this is episode four of selling liquidation pallets. And let me give you a quick recap. We've been trying different types of pallets from Costway, which is like furniture, to Walmart, which is more house items. We've been trying different ways of selling them. Facebook Marketplace, yard sales. Bro, I even hit up my grandma to do some witchcraft to help us get more sales. And right now, we pretty much have been breaking even, but we're trying something new. Walmart, see how we feel about it. And of course, we gotta take you along for the journey, so make sure to stick around. All right, babe. Yes. We're right here at the pallet, BP liquidation pallets. Yes. What's the game plan? Look for a small. Small. Anything, any specific items or what are you thinking? I think we'll know when we see it. It's kind of like, yeah. All right, we'll see what's up guys, we'll see. We're gonna look around, see what's up. I don't know. Look at this one, it has all bathroom stuff. All right, guys, uh, they don't have a lot right now. They haven't got a shipment in about a week or so. And um, we don't want to buy something out of desperation or just to buy something. But they do have another location, Visalia, so we're going to go check them out. All right, guys, right here at the second BP liquidation in Visalia, California. They seem like they have a lot more pallets. Let's go check them out. This is the stuff that did good last time. Look at that. Yeah, bed stuff, kitchen stuff. Curtains. There's a lot of curtains. So one thing we noticed in the last yard sale, guys, uh, house stuff sold a lot. Very good, very very good. Bathroom stuff was mainly nice. ladies coming through. You know, look at that. What are you thinking so far, baby? Mm, I think this could be a possibility. Yeah. I'm going to wine down. Right. We'll check them out. We'll check them out. How much is this? How much is this one? I don't know. Oh, 549. 549. <laughs> so one thing we like about the pallets is that we actually find stuff for ourselves. Yeah. The mother-in-law. And then my boy over here, he's been wanting a projector for a long time. <laughs> over here, she's over here. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> During quarantine, he wanted one and I told yeah. him I would order it. But it was like 150 bucks, and I was gonna order it yeah. the next time I got paid, and then I just never did. He kept reminding me, and I was like, you know what, baby, I ordered it, and they're yeah. sending it, but because of coronavirus, it's taking forever. Yeah. And then he reminded me about it a couple months ago, and I was like, <laughs> oh, you know what? They canceled it. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are parents, you know you know how it is. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a pallet, six hundred and fifty. Ah, trying to stick under five hundred, but. It is what it is, you know. This one has a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. So yeah. I don't know if we don't sell. I mean, like you said, we should. We're gonna take the big step and put it online, and then um, go from there. Yeah. And then whatever else we don't put up, put it at the yard sale. Let's see how it goes. So this time, that's what we want is small, the smallest pallets, because uh, we're gonna fit them in our cars. Before we continue, of course I got to shout out BP Liquidation Pallets. They've been supporting the channel and they've been helping me along the way. And of course, they're giving you that knowledge on their YouTube channel. So if you're even thinking about trying this business out, I highly recommend you go subscribe to their YouTube channel so you can get more knowledge on this business. I'll put the link in the description below. Go show them some love. It's gonna help you out a lot. But let's get back to the video. All right, we're unloading everything. Oh, we're running out of space in the garage, guys. The goal, try to get rid of everything. See how it goes. Look at the garage, get a little crowded over here. But, so one thing I learned from my last pallets is that 
And instead of trying to set everything up and trying to post everything at once, get one thing, hopefully a high ticket item, and post it as soon as possible. And that's what I did. We got projector, as you guys saw. Look at that, we got this projector right here. Took a couple pictures of it working. That should be a photographer, guys. And then there's another thing I learned. This is my little uh, business page for my local town. Post, post, post. Here you go, brand new projector for sale. Works great, Lima, California. And I got some action on, and then of course, I share that to my own personal page. Of course, sharing it, you know? Got some action, got some action. How much? I'll take it, this guy said. He's a homie of mine. That's why I shared it on my personal. Boom, this guy paid a hundred dollars. There we go. So we got the palette today. I already made back a hundred dollars. But I'm posting, oh, and I also posted on Facebook Marketplace, which I'm about to take down. Now, here's another thing I learned. Whatever items you have, try to figure out if you know people who could use that item to resell or use. For example, I have a personal trainer friend, and as you guys, as you guys saw, I have a lot of scales. So I hit him up and told him, look, bro, hey, you wanna sell some scales to your clients? I'll sell them to you for five bucks. You sell them for five or 15? And you know what he said? Your pictures are, are they working? You have seven are working like new cash app or? Oh yeah. So there you guys go. That's my biggest tip to you guys. If you guys, if you guys want to get into reselling in general, don't try doing everything at once. Go at your own pace. And me and my girl, we're busy. I have another business. One thing a day works for us. But of course, make sure to watch the whole video so you can get more free and knowledge on the liquidation palette business. You know what? I was just thinking about it. This morning we sold the canopy for $75. I just sold a projector for 100. I'm about to sell some scales for $35. That's $200 in a day. And remember, we spent $650 on this new pallet. We didn't borrow, my, we didn't borrow a truck. We didn't use a U-Haul. All right, all right. Starting to figure this out, guys. Starting to figure this out. All right, guys. So, we post another item on Facebook Marketplace. And it is this watch. I don't know much about watches. But this one was going for 180, I wanna say. We posted for 100, someone offered us $80. We're gonna go meet him at AM PM. And the reason why the guy returned it, he got the wrong model. There you guys go, met the guy. Quick 80 bucks. This is how much we made back so far in our reselling liquidation pallet business. Right, so for the tent, believe it or not, it says tent, 75, projector, 100, 7 skulls, 35, the watch, 80. You guys know the map is right here. And tomorrow, we're having a yard sale, trying to sell everything we have. Let's see how it goes. Yo, good morning, everybody. It's June 4th, 2022. And let me give you an update of where we're at with the liquidation pallets. We got the Walmart pallet. My girl's been having it. She had a yard sale. We didn't make a lot of money. And we're at a spot in business where we don't know exactly which direction to go and what we're gonna focus on. All right, baby. What's up? How you feeling today? Um, Like I just wanna get rid of all this stuff. All right, so we had a yard sale like two weeks ago. Yes. How did that go? Uh, not so great. I think we made like 100, maybe 200 bucks. All right, so it wasn't that good. How are you feeling about this now? Um, so it kind of made me get discouraged. Yeah. Yeah, like I even stopped building because I just felt like, like the desks weren't selling on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. Um, 
they weren't even shooting me cheap deals, you know? Nah, like, you know, people like, try to lowball you. They weren't even trying to do that. Dang. Nothing. So, I tried something else. I tried an auction site, and um, that worked. But one of the things that got sold, we had to give them a refund because we didn't know that it had a hole. Mm. And then mm. another one sold, but um, we sold a laminator for 20 bucks. She never came through. Never mm. messaged me, never nothing. All right, guys. So. All right, what's the cave plan for today? Sell everything at a reasonable price just to get rid of it. And then, are we gonna continue? Or is this the last episode of the liquidation palette business? I think we're gonna continue. Mm -hmm. But I think at this point, we're just gonna do Costway, do it a Facebook marketplace offer up, and only because this takes a lot of time mm -hmm. and a lot of time that we don't really have. And there's a lot of little stuff. Yes, a lot of little stuff. Mm -hmm. And some stuff is messed up. Like, we had two things messed up so mm -hmm. far. And good stuff, too. Like, the water hose was pretty good. Had a hole in it. The ice machine, we thought we were going to get make good money on it. And it doesn't even work. There you guys go. That's the gamble. But we're going to keep you updated. So, one thing I want to say is that you're going to experience this in every business. You're gonna go strong for a month, and then maybe our expectations were too high, or maybe we're pricing things too high. But the point is, you don't know what's going on with your business. You don't know what you could do to grow it. I've been here before. This is my girl's first time, and I know that either I gotta change directions, I gotta focus on, on one thing, or I just gotta try something completely new. And now uh, we're gonna sell everything and we're just gonna focus on Costway. That's it. And in every business, you need to focus on one thing that's gonna get you customers, that's gonna get you sales. You just gotta figure out what that is. And hopefully Costway is the way to go if we're just sticking to it. But like I said, we're gonna keep you updated. Now let's get this yard sale going. All right guys, so my girl actually did the yard sale. I had to go record and then uh, came back. How much money did you make, baby? Uh, at the yard sale? Yeah. $23, $24. $24. It was whack, but you took some pictures and posted on Facebook? Yes. So I took, a quite, I took pictures of the bigger stuff and then mm -hmm. like, you know, just to show what we had. Yeah. And I put that we had a everything must go sale Oh, damn. And, and so then I kind of put the prices of the big stuff of what we were asking and how much we were accepting today. Got it. And because you posted on Facebook yeah. groups, you actually had some people come and buy some stuff? So right now, currently that we have had, we have $79. $79. So there you guys go. If you have any yard sale, make sure to promote it on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook groups. And you know what? I think we have enough to go buy another pallet, let's go. All right guys, so I wanna share something with you that hey, you're gonna go through and this is where you have to stay professional. We sold a $5 scale on Facebook Marketplace. The lady came and got it, I tested it. She came to pick it up, it was great. She even said thank you. And then a couple hours later, we get a message from her and she's calling us scammers. Now, how would you respond to this? My girl, you know, one thing you guys don't know about my girl is that she's from the streets from Parlier, huh, babe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she wanted to tell her stuff back. But I'm like, no, babe, this is what we need to be professional. And the reason why we need to be professional is because if we escalate things, it's very easy for them to screenshot that and make us look even worse than we already do. So we, I told her, look, message her back, tell her we're sorry that she could keep the scale or she could bring it back. We'll give her $5, give us her cash app. That's not our intention. She apologized, we apologized, we made it right. And just to show you guys, it's gonna happen. People are gonna think the worst of you, but be professional and try to make it right. Even if they're in the wrong, try to make it right.